Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to wire a two game box where there are two separate circuits. This three wire coming in here will be on one circuit and this switch leg going to this light will be on a separate circuit. So I have a power coming in here and I have a power coming in here. Now, I'm going to put this three wire onto this circuit and I'm going to put this switch leg onto this one. Okay? Now, first thing you would do would be to, again, do your ground wires. Now, all ground wires can be hooked together at all times because when they go to the panel box they're all hooked up together. So they can be hooked together. So I've already done this. I twisted my four wires really tight, snipped off two of them, and got the other two ready to be attached to the switch. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hot wire and run power to this light that goes right up above it. Okay, now when you do a circuit with, or a box with two separate circuits, the neutral wires cannot be hooked together. I cannot take these two and hook them to these two because if I turn off this circuit and these two are hooked together, then I will get feedback through the other circuit. So if I go working on it, you know you can get zapped. So make sure that you keep your neutral wires separate. Okay? So this one and that one are going to go over there and these two are going to go over here. So I'm going to take the neutral wire from the light and the neutral wire from the power and I'm going to wire nut them together, separate from the other two. Again, if you're using the new switches that have a neutral on them, then you would have to run a pigtail from this onto the switch. So I'm going to make sure that I've got a good tight connection and I'm going to fold my neutrals into my box. Okay, that leaves me hot wire and a switch leg. So I have to take my single pole switch I'm going to take one of my ground wires hook it onto my single pole switch. Again, always go put the hook in the direction in which you're spinning your screw. The other two, it does not matter which one gets the hot and which one gets the switch leg since it's a single pole switch. It's either on or off. Again, I'm going to put it in the direction in which the hook in the direction in which I screw, turn the screw. Okay, so that's my single pole switch. Now, for my three-way switch, I'm going to take the neutral from the other hot wire and hook it to the neutral wire from my three-way switch. Again, if you have a a switch with a neutral on it, you run a pigtail off of this, then you fold it back into the box to get it out of the way. That leaves you with three wires. take my three-way switch and hook up the ground, the power goes, which is this wire, goes to the black screw.
travelers. I like to put the red traveler on the opposite side by itself. switch running a light on a separate circuit than the three-way switch. What do you need to remember? Number one, all your ground wires can be hooked together so I ground I twisted them all nice and tight so I don't have an open ground. One goes to the single pole switch, one goes to the three-way switch. With the neutral wires, the neutral wires cannot be mixed. So I take the power wire and the switch leg wire neutrals and I wire nut them together separately from the three-way and its power wire neutral. That leaves me with a hot wire that goes to the black, the travelers go across from each other, and then on the single pole switch you have the hot wire and the switch leg, and it doesn't matter whether they go on top or bottom because they're all the same. It'll work either way. Okay, so that is a two gang box, single pole switch, three way switch on separate circuits.